The Button Box by Margaret S. Reed. My grandma has a special box. I like to play with what's inside. I swirl the buttons round and round and then I pick the ones I like. Ten have flowers painted on them, just like grandma's china dishes. I like to sort them first. Next, I look for sparkly buttons. I pretend they're jewels that once belonged to kings and queens and movie stars. Some buttons are covered with cloth, satin, velvet or corduroy. They make me think of fancy clothes. There are metal buttons from overalls and jeans, leather ones from cowboy shirts and sweaters. This looks like the one from Grandpa's winter coat. Grandma says these small ones come from shoes wore long ago. Next, I sort the shiny buttons that come from uniforms. I line them up like marchers in a big parade. The one with the eagle I call Mr. President. I pull out all the pearly ones and make a rainbow pattern. When does little change to big? I can never tell. Some buttons have four holes, some have two. Some don't have any sewing holes. They have shanks instead. These make good eyes on puppets or stuffed animals. Sometimes when Grandma sorts with me, we play a special game. We stir the buttons, shut our eyes, and then we each take one. Grandma asks, are they alike? Mine is wooden, so is hers, both around and flat, but hers is thick and mine is thin. She puts my button on a string. Whirl it around, she says. The string twists up, I pull the ends. We listen to its hum. Grandma tells me what some buttons used to be. Some were seashells, some were even sand. Big furnaces heat the sand until it melts. When it cools, it's glass. Wooden buttons come from trees. Deers shed their antlers every winter and grow new ones in the spring. I like the buttons made from their old horns. When it's time to put the buttons back, I pretend I'm very rich, counting all my gold. I like to feel the buttons then, the bumpy and the smooth. I like the way they sound, clickety, tappity, falling through my fingers one by one into the box. Then Grandma puts the box away where it will wait till next time. I wonder who first figured buttons out.